And last but not least, for me, at least as far as, uh, as I'm concerned, is proper stiff arming. I know a lot of, you know, senseis will tell you, don't stiff arm, it's bad judo, don't stiff arm. No, stiff arming is good judo, done right. Defensive stiff arming is bad, but the proper application of a stiff arm can stop a throw or an attempted throw in its tracks. So when I have a good mechanical grip here, I need to make sure that my wrist is mechanically sound. And you know this comes a lot from from the uh, uh, you know striking martial arts. If you if I were to do a reverse punch on William, I would want to strike in a way that my bones of my forearm and the knuckles of my of my hand line up when I strike, so that the wrist doesn't buckle. Right. Same thing when I grip here and I want to put a stiff arm into him. I want these to line up. Right. So one of the stiff arms that I love is the hand turns over here, the elbow stays bent, and you are just striking, it's like a cross, okay? So you're here, it's tight, and in. So if he starts to rotate in, say a left-handed throw, no, go, left, go the other way, right there. He's growing, going into my stiff arm, but this doesn't look like a stiff arm to anybody else. So the referee's not gonna go, hey, you're stiff arming, because as I do it, I come up, and it's in. But the way you make that happen and not break your wrist is that keep those bones aligned, right? And the way you do that is you lift the gi off and then you rotate in and you're, you're aligned at that point. So, uh, so that stiff arm's good. And then the other stiff arm that I'll use uh, occasionally doesn't involve moving the elbow. It has to do with aligning my bones of my wrist this way. And what this is is if we're grip fighting, he's coming up for this one here, and I want to break that off, I just push it that way, here. Again, if my hand's in a good position, I can push him away and take an, uh, an a chance for an attack here, all right? So, but again, make sure that you're in a good position and you're aligning the bones. If I try to push him with my bones unaligned, I run the risk of um, framing my wrist. Sorry. <laughs>